Well, we're here at IMTS. We're here at the Autodesk booth. I got my buddy Clinton over here. Clinton, I really want to deep dive on this copter, man. We're just going to have to wait, man. Be patient. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to it, right? You don't know, do you? Yeah. yeah that's no. what the issue is. No, what good do stuff. you know about good here? Good stuff. So, look, first off, thank <laughs> you for coming and joining us here at IMTS. It's great to be back here. Yeah. It's a couple of years have passed, but it's superb. I can't believe the energy that's in this hall. It's oh, absolutely man. stunning. These people are just buzzing. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you're here on the Autodesk stand, obviously. Yeah. We're here to showcase our design and manufacturing solutions. It's principally Fusion. Obviously, we've got yeah. other software we're talking about today, but it's Fusion. And, and yeah. if you come here, you're going to see some amazing components like the part that we've got on, on, the, sta on the table there. Yeah. It's effectively uh, it's a five-axis CNC machine component we've made in our, our technology center in the UK. And this really does showcase the capabilities of our Fusion manufacturing software. But as we walk around, we're going to be showcasing parts that have been manufactured by our partners. So there's a part made by the guys at DN Solutions. That's a we, nice little pagoda. We got 3D printed components, CNC machine parts. We've got electronics components. We've yeah. got a huge raft of different sorts of parts. All of them have been designed and made with Fusion. Everything. So everything I'm seeing here, you haven't brought something pretty in from someone else's nope, booth? Nope. Okay. It's all made by us, all by our partners, which makes yeah. it even more impressive. That's done in one, the way they're going into those ports? It's, it's a two-piece component assembly, but oh, uh, each of those parts has been cut on a Hermley C50, so it's a, yeah. it's a pretty right, nice part. Now, in addition to these artifacts, we've got answer booths where people can bring you know, their data sets and meet with mm -hmm. experts and learn about, you know, how can they overcome their manufacturing challenges with Fusion. We've also been running a daily design and manufacturing challenge up against the clock so people can complete a challenge faster than anybody else. They win a prize really? and walk away with this huh. really rad Bluetooth speaker. So, you know, this is really an opportunity for us to talk about what we offer in the marketplace for manufacturing. So people get better at their jobs and because they're getting better at their jobs and their skills, you're going to reward them for that? Oh yeah, that's what it's all about. <laughs> It's all about giving. How many people in the industry are doing that for Yeah, them? well, there's certainly one, and that's us. But I well, also wanted good. to introduce you to my good friend, Tony. Okay. Tony's going to talk about some of the challenges that we hear our customers uh, are surfacing up that's sort of keeping them awake. And these are the sorts of problems that we need to solve as a manufacturing solutions provider. So I'm going okay. to introduce you to Tony, and he can Perfect. tell you some more. Well, nice thank you so Arthur. much. Thank you, Glenn. S so nice to meet you, Tony. Yeah, likewise. So, what, what, what do I get to learn from you? I really want to learn about the flying vehicle behind you. Are you the right guy? For part of it. So, what, okay. we, what we love to do, if, particularly from a strategy perspective, is yeah. to connect our customers to solutions using Fusion. Okay. When we look at the challenges that customers are facing today, it all yeah. starts with data. Data is the lifeblood of any manufacturer. Yeah. Well, and not just having the data, but utilizing that data is so integral. So how does that work with the team at Autodesk? So if you look at a customer's process right now, yeah. a lot of times it's information flowing from one point solution to the next, and it's all disconnected. Yeah, okay. So we like Fusion solves a lot of those issues because we're bringing together multiple disciplines, we're unifying them onto one platform. You've got CAD, CAM, CAE and manufacturing all working together, bringing those designers, electronics engineers, additive engineers, and manufacturing engineers onto one platform so that they're all operating off of one version of the truth. Yeah, so you don't have your whole company using different softwares and they can't even talk or communicate with each other. Autodesk is bringing that unity through Fusion. Yeah, and so that's right now. And Ed yeah. has a fantastic example of what that looks like for one okay. of our customers. Uh, they. Autodesk used innovation and research with those teams yeah. to be able to drive down development time, improve product quality, and reduce the overall project cost, making them the hero for their end customer. Well, that's beautiful. Maybe we should go find this Ed. Yeah, let's go talk to Ed. Man, I still can't get over. I was talking earlier and this, everything on this was created in Fusion. Ed's gonna be able to tell me a little bit more about this, right? Yeah, again, it all goes back to how integrated it is, because you've got generative design, you've got the PCB design that's happening with electronics, and you've got mechanical aspects. Even <laughs> the CAE, the simulation, really? that ensures that the structures are sufficient to support the loads that they're dealing with. All of it was done in Fusion. Well, that's fantastic. So, let me show you, to, let me introduce you to Ed. Pleasure. Oh. Nice right to meet you, Nice Ed. to meet you. Okay, now I'm told you are the one that's finally gonna be able to tell me a little bit more about this flying vehicle. Are you the right guy for the job? Absolutely. 
I was told, and I don't know if it's true, you can tell me if they were lying, it's okay. Yeah. But the whole thing was designed in Fusion. Yeah, absolutely. The whole vehicle was designed in Fusion, and yeah. I just have three bullet points to share with you. Uh, who created this vehicle? So okay. this vehicle was created by Autodesk Research, yeah. which is a dedicated team at Autodesk that does research and innovation for the company and explores, prepares and leads the company and the new research and innovation that our customers may face to five to ten years ahead in the future. Okay. The second thing I wanted to share with you is why did we create this vehicle? Yeah. So we identify a couple of challenges in the industry. Uh, one being, at the moment, no matter how ideally you design and manufacture your product, it does not perform at the same level in reality. Yes. So you have that gap of what you design and simulate it to what yeah. you perform in reality. The second one being, we have so many smart products gathering lots of sensor data, oh. and all of it is used currently for maintenance. Yes. And none of it is used, how do we use that for design? How do we help designers to make better products? So, so seeing these challenges, yeah. we are trying to close that loop Okay. using the information gathered from sensors uh, from the products and it help designers to build next iterations of the products which are closer to the reality than they designed and simulated for. Well, that is, that is a lot because I don't think there's any other company out there that's really has an R&D department that's putting all of these sensors in. So how does all of this data collection, how do you see that affecting the future of design? Uh, the future of design may be affected by this new technology because there are already so many sensor data points out there being collected by so many smart products out there. Mm -hmm. But what we're coming with as a new research and exploration is linking that information back into the design and shaping the new geometry generation based on that sensor information. And you're right, there are not so many companies out there that are exploring this area. And there are not so many industries out there that are ready for this technology now. Yeah. This is our job, to explore, prepare, and lead the company five to 10 years ahead of the future yeah. so that our customers may need this solution five to 10 years ahead of the future. Yeah, and I really love that. I mean, obviously, it's a very eye-catching piece. I've been watching people all day swarm around this. We're on Wednesday right now, and I've been watching people all week swarm around this. So, But it's really cool to know that there's a whole world of transformation that's locked within this flying vehicle, and it really sounds like it's going to make a massive impact to the world of design and the future of manufacturing. Thank you so much, Ed. If people want to check out a little bit more to understand about this R&D department and everything you're up to, is there somewhere they can go? Absolutely. I would love everyone to uh, go to check Autodesk website, which is theautodesk.com. Yep. And then uh, within that website, there are so many information in terms of what you can find more to the future of design and make. Perfect. Well, you heard it here first. You heard all the nitty gritty details. Thank you so much, Ed. Thank you. Great to I meet you. It. Great appreciate to meet you as well. It.